Hello and welcome to this edition of Ringside Digest. I'm your host, Kirk Day, along with my co-host, Noah Byrne and Nick Miller. And today we've got some unfortunate news involving uh, a top player in the NHL with an injury. And we've also got some rumors, now I'm saying it's not nothing confirmed, as rumors of an NHL starting goalie who could possibly be on the move in the offseason. But before we get into this video, just make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. We're going to have it all throughout the season and all throughout the offseason. It's going to be exciting. So without any further ado, we're just going to get into our first one here, which is Andre Sveshnikov is out for the rest of the season. Now, it's it's not something you like to see with any player at all. It, he tore his ACL, I believe is what it was. It was a knee injury, he's going into surgery, and he's going to be out for the regular season and the playoffs. It's not something you like to see. I mean, especially such a good player. And he was apologizing to his coach for getting the injury. Like, that's not your fault. You can't do nothing about that. And it, it is a shame to see, especially how good he was playing this year with 55 points in 64 games. Like, he's playing fantastic, as well as on the defensive side of the puck. You know, it's it's nothing. And it came out today with this. It's like Andre Shveshnikov will undergo knee surgery on Thursday. He will miss the remainder of the season and the playoffs. It just sucks to see. You know, you don't want to ever see a player go out, like, on, on, on top. He's playing fantastic. And, yeah, it's just it's not something to see. But it, it's it's a bit bad for the Hurricanes as well, though. We know they didn't add much in the, uh, in the trade deadline. And I know they are still very good without him, but... At, having that big gap of his skill level on your offense, not something ideal. What do you think, Noah? How does it affect, how do you I mean, think it affects him? Yeah, you know, he's a huge contributor to that that Carolina team. You know, he's, he, like you said, he's been lighting it up all year, and it just, it just really sucks, you know, because they kind of looked like they were going to go pretty deep in the playoffs, and now they lost a big a big contributor. So it, it, if I'm a Carolina Hurricanes fan, I'm, uh, I'm not too happy. Yeah, this is a brutal blow for them, like, honestly. Uh, I mean, especially because some people thought that this was the Hurricanes' year, the way they were playing. Like, they're, I think they're first in the Metro still, at least tied with New Jersey. I know that, uh, if they're not first. But uh, personally, I didn't think it was the year. But especially now, since Svechnikov is not, uh, not available, then I, I really don't think it is. I do think there is a, a silver lining, though. I think that the fact that they didn't spend big on rentals uh, when they would have lost Sveshnikov anyway, I, I think is like a big thing because they, they probably wouldn't have won anyway, like even if they did and Sveshnikov got injured. So I, I think that's a silver lining. Yeah, it could have been a possibility that they knew his knee was a bit lingering beforehand and just it kind of went out recently. But either way, it sucks. I mean, now their lines are still good here. You can see like they got Pooley RV who slots, who, well, this is just presumed lines, who will probably either go on first or second line, depending on what they just choose to do. But they still have two good lines with a solid third and fourth line. So th it's not this is not eliminating them in any way from playoff contention. They are still going to be very good. I mean, we know how good the East is, though. We've, we've been saying it since the trade deadline of all the acquisitions from, like, Boston, the Rangers, and everybody. So it will be tough, especially missing one of your best players in Andrei Sveshnikov. So definitely does suck for the, uh, for the Carolina mm -hmm. Hurricanes. Yeah, not to uh, not to mention as well, they they lost Max Pacioretty from the same injury, if I'm if I'm correct. Yeah, that, which is it's an absolutely brutal blow for the for the Hurricanes. Yeah, and two huge losses. Yeah, missing both of them, having it would have been very good if they had both of them. You know, Max Pacioretty. Oh yeah. The same injury twice back to back. He came back for what two games, if that. Had the same injury, and now Shveshnikov with similar just in the legs. It's it is a tough blow for him. It, it sucks. You sucks. It sucks to. But, I mean, it happens. You can't really, can't change it. It is what it is at this point, and it definitely does hurt. But, I mean, we know Shreshnikov will come back. He'll be just as good as he was before he left, so excited to see when he comes back. Over the next door here, we have Carter Hart could possibly be headed to the trade block this offseason. Now, this one is interesting because, I mean, we know Carter Hart, if you know from a Canada fan, the World Juniors, he was very good. He was probably the last stellar goalie we've had in net that had but that was like coming into it knowing that he was going to be good but in the nhl we haven't seen too much from him but this comes from uh elliot freeman's podcast he reported that uh he will be available most likely now i mean will he be it's not for sure but he also said veterans with two to three years left on their deals who don't fit the timeline of the rebuild will be on the block and i mean we know that there was a change in management with the philadelphia flyers so it could happen. I mean, Danny Briere said he's not afraid to use the word rebuild, which I think is a good idea. So if, if they can stick with him and he's willing to work through it, 
I don't think it'll be a bad idea. I mean, you're going to have some guys, or some teams, sorry, that are interested in him, for certain. Even with his stats, which I mean, in the NHL, his totals are a 297 goals against a 905 save percentage. It's not the best. But, I mean, we did see him in the 2019-2020 season in the bubble. He was fantastic that season. Just, I mean, and you also can't blame him with the team that Philadelphia has in front of him at the moment. They're bad. They're very, very bad. So that that's like a John Klingberg, in my opinion. It's John Klingberg's stats were definitely deflated from playing in Anaheim. Not a good uh, team for him to be with to help him try and get money going into the offseason. Yeah. But, I mean, Carter Hart after this season has one year left in RFA, and he has uh, 3.9, I believe, million. So if a team would like to get him in the offseason, have control of him because he will be expiring as an RFA as well. I think it's a pretty good idea. I mean, mm-hmm. we know Philadelphia don't have very many goalies, but if they get the right offer for Carter Hart, who we know can be a very good goalie, I think it's something to consider for sure. What do you think, Noah? Um, yeah, I still think he's uh, he's still got a bit of uh, upside. You know, and there's after seeing this tweet and after seeing kind of the rumors swirling, there's one team, one team that comes to mind, and that's that's the Ottawa Senators. You know, they're uh, they're there's kind of a question in their uh, in their other uh, goalies there with I think it's. Uh, who's the guy that went down? Uh, Forsberg and Cam Talbot. You know, you kind of knew Cam Talbot wasn't going to be their future goalie. But, you know, um, is it Mad Sogard, the yeah. guy who's in there now? He's been playing pretty good. So, you know, maybe make a little bit of competition with him and Carter Hart. You know, I think Ottawa's kind of that team that's kind of middle of the pack now. And they, they're they trying to get that that piece that moves them forward. That might be Jacob Chikrin. I mean, we've seen that they're willing to move forward in that Jacob Chikrin trade. So, you know, maybe, you know, give up a couple prospects and get Carter Hart and see where it goes. Yeah. I, I definitely think uh, Carter Hart's still got potential. Like he's only, he's only young. Mm-hmm. Like I think a lot of people are writing him off and he's only, young. I think that's blatantly wrong because if you look at the teams that he's had in Philadelphia, the only good one was the bubble. And he was he was actually very very good against Montreal. Some might say in uh, some might say in that series he outplayed Carey Price. Some might say that because Montreal did have a few decent chances on uh, on Carter Hart. Now you know he, I'm not saying he's Carey Price here. We're not we're not getting ahead of ourselves. But uh, but I, I think that like with Carter Hart, uh, like you give him like a decent defense, and I think he still could be really good. Uh, I, I also look at a team like Ottawa, who's ready to come out of the rebuild now. Like they still could make the playoffs. It's not looking very likely at the moment, but uh, I, I think he definitely fits in Ottawa, like you were saying. Yeah, there's a few team I've seen a few rumors about, and like that's just Ottawa, like you said, Montreal, who could be a possibility. I mean, you have Jake Allen, you have Samuel Montembeau. I mean, they're both Montembeau's playing good. Jake Allen, mm-hmm. I mean, you can't really blame him with this year's team, of course, because they don't have much in front of them, and uh, I think Montreal is doing their best to get the first overall pick as we know which most bottom teams should be doing at this point but I mean Colorado is also a good one too Colorado does have a very very good team for like that Carter Hart could get behind and I I think it's that would be something to look at because Mm -hmm. I I mean some goalies that they've had for the past few years not the biggest names but they played well with them I mean they got guys like McCarr and you know it's the whole team in front of them you don't need a very good goalie Mm-hmm. So having Carter Hart, who's a solid one at a cheap price, who is looking to prove himself to be able to get a bigger contract going into his expiring mm-hmm. year, I don't think it's a bad idea for uh, Colorado to have a look. So, I mean, there's a few teams like that that should yeah. ha- just consider it. I mean, you, you don't we don't know what the price would be for him. I can't even – I t- need some time to think about to see what the return would be because you assume that Philadelphia would want some prospects in return or some picks yeah. or something because they're, they're not too deep. They've got to get him out of there. Like, I mean, I – I don't watch Philadelphia play very often, but if I did, I think I'd throw up in my mouth. I, 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 don't, <laughs> I don't enjoy watching them play anytime I ever do. So, I mean, just just get him out of there, for God's sake. He's a young goalie, and you're ruining his career. Like He, he just needs to put in the work with the right goalie coach and the right team, the right defense, and I think he'll be phenomenal at the NHL. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think the, the thing with Montreal is – Montreal is trying to keep all their prospects and keep all their picks and try to do their rebuild. And, and like, like I've seen a couple other teams, I think I've seen San Jose and who else? I can't, I can't remember the exact teams now, but those are like bottom five, bottom 10 teams. I think rather than trading for a struggling guy like Carter Hart, I think they're more so trying to keep their prospects trying to develop within. That's why I think a team like Ottawa makes so much sense. Like I said, you know, they're kind of, 
in the mid there. They're kind of on the rise also, and they need that piece. So maybe they don't have a problem giving up a second or a third rounder and, and a top prospect for him. Yeah, for sure. For Carter Hart, that is. Yeah, because, I mean, if Philadelphia goes into a rebuild, obviously they won't be good for those few years, which, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I think they probably should go into a rebuild. I mean, they're not going to have JVR at the offseason. They didn't trade him. They didn't get anything in return, and they're not going to. He's not going back. So I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to get rid of him because by the time the rebuild would be over, he'd be probably close on 30. And it's you'd, you'd be wasting him at that point. He probably still, I would trade him while he still has potential. I mean, it, it may not be this offseason. Could be going into his re-signing period as an RFA. If someone wants to pay the price for him, and you're like, well, yeah, it's worth it. Trade, trade his rights off and get him out of there. Because, I mean, there's no point keeping him at this point. It's mm-hmm. It would just be a waste of his prime. Because he's, like, as we know, goalies' primes are later in their careers. Like, close on probably 27 to 29. And yeah. that's what he's going into now. So I think it would just be a good idea to shake yeah. it up, get rid of him. I mean, there's no point in keeping him. I'm very curious to see what a return would be for him. Very yeah. curious. I, I don't think it would be too much right now. So, I mean, yeah. you might want to wait and see what he does next season before, see if he can boost up his 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 worth a bit just to see. I mean, but it's we're not we're not GMs. So No. <laughs> yeah. I don't see that happening though. Like I, I don't foresee him being able to boost himself while he's still in Philadelphia, especially when they're gonna start themselves into a rebuild. That defense is gonna get worse and Oh my god! I didn't want to think about that. That defense is worse. <laughs> yeah, it does. Do be bad. And that, that's yeah. all we have for this video. So, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like the video because we're going to be posting a lot more. We're going to have some some uh, draft related stuff coming soon, as we know that's approaching. We're going to have some playoff stuff as well. So, if you want to see it, make sure to subscribe because we're going to be posting all throughout the year, all throughout the off season. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. So, thank you for watching.